This is what we're making today. Satisfying salad. Alright, I don't know if you guys noticed, but I clearly couldn't say the name of the title. So if any of you guys know how to say it, post it in the comments below. I really want to know how to say it. Okay, so back to the cooking. I just peeled a bunch of Yukon Gold potatoes. Then, I'm going to quarter it. Next, in a pot of hot water, we're going to throw in a cup of sea salt. Then, we're going to slowly huck in all our potatoes. Make sure the water doesn't splash on you, because it did on me and it burnt. We're going to simmer this for about 10 minutes. For these potatoes, we don't want to overcook it. We just want to make sure the fork just goes in. These are boiled potatoes, so we're going to let it air dry at room temperature. We don't want to overcook this because we want to keep its integrity. We don't want mushy boiled potatoes. Next, we're going to medium boil an egg. Before we throw our eggs in, we're going to create a whirlpool. This will help center the yolk when it starts cooking. We're going to place the egg in and cook it in boiling hot water for 8 minutes. We're going to put a lid on this pot to make sure that the heat stays trapped and keeps it at a rolling boil. After 8 minutes, we're going to throw the eggs into an ice bath. This will stop the cooking process. At this point, there's no real way to check if it's done properly. We're just going to have to cross our fingers and hopefully it worked. And this is where the experience kicks in. Next, we're going to make a herb blend. This is sage, thyme, oregano, and parsley. We're going to start off by picking all the thyme leaves. Next, we're going to roll all of our herbs like a cigar and then start cutting it very thinly. This is a French cutting technique called chiffonade. This technique is usually used on herbs. While I turn these herbs into powder, this is why I remind you to smash that like button and hit the notification bell for new videos. And if you really like what you see, hit the subscribe button, it's at the bottom right of your screen. Guys, from now on, all my recipes will be on my blog at chefmar.ca. Please check it out and tell me what you think. All feedback is good feedback. Just don't hurt my feelings too much. Next, we're going to make a very simple vinaigrette. In a bowl, we're going to throw in half a cup of canola oil and half a cup of olive oil. Then, we're going to throw in a third of a cup of apple cider vinegar, a quarter of a cup of lemon juice, and a tablespoon of salt and pepper, and then mix. After giving it a good mix, we're going to throw in about a tablespoon or two of our herb blend, and that's it. This is a very simple and easy to make lemon vinaigrette. This is a Granny Smith apple. We're going to cut this up and make ninja stars out of it. We're going to start off by slicing it into half inch thick slices. And then using a paring knife, we're going to shape it into stars. Alright, so while I cut my deformed ninja stars, I just want to say if any of you guys want to support and help fund my recipes, check out my Patreon page at patreon.com slash chefmar. Alright, so after making a bunch of these, this is the best that I can do. A deformed North Star. Mona would not be proud. But you know what? I tried my best and that's all that matters. And finally, we're simply going to cut this apple into wedges. Then we're just going to take the top of this romaine. I know the game says cabbage, but that picture does not look like cabbage. It's definitely lettuce. The game just didn't have lettuce, so they called it cabbage. And then finally, we're simply going to peel these eggs, cut into it, and hopefully it's a medium boil. So this is the way I like to peel my eggs. I tap it on all sides and then I roll it like this. The shell should just come right off. I know the description says hard boiled, but it's hard to get the egg that bright yellow if you hard boil it. So we're medium boiling it instead. All 
Alright, for the moment of truth, did it cook properly? And it's slightly undercooked. It looks like I took it off the heat 30 seconds early. Shows my experience with boiling eggs, huh? But that's okay, we're gonna use it anyway, because I don't have any more eggs. It's 1am at night, I'm not going out there to get eggs. And lastly, we're gonna throw in the vinaigrette in with the potatoes, and then give it a good toss, and now let's play. Alright, time to eat this Derwashish Lesher Shrunch. I don't care if I butchered it, sue me. I've done worse on this channel, like murdering a crab. Anyways, back to the taste test. Uh, the potatoes were really good, I mean the vinaigrette did all the work for it. Honestly, it was well seasoned and it wasn't overboiled. As for the egg, I mean I did undercook it, but realistically, I prefer my eggs like this than hard boiled or medium boiled. As for the apples, I mean, they're good with the dressing too, or on its own. And as for the lettuce, I mean, I don't know, why is it here? The lettuce is more of a garnish than a salad, honestly. But you know what this needs? Needs more of that dressing. And honestly guys, it was a pretty satisfying salad. Mostly because of the potatoes and eggs. But it was satisfying to eat. Anyways, if you guys like what you see, hit the like button. And if you guys have any suggestions on what should cook next, please post in the comments below. And don't forget to subscribe. And guys, don't forget to check out my new blog on chefmar.ca.